Hello there, Andre here from Peak Motorcycles. I'm outside in the sunshine once again. Uh, as you can see, my uh, bike is out on the driveway and today I'm gonna to be doing a much requested video, which is the noise check on the Moto X exhaust that I've put on my CRF 300 Rally. So this exhaust comes from Thailand. Uh, the one I've got has got the titanium end can and stainless steel, everything else. I know there's other options available and people seem to have bought quite a few of them. Just to remind you why I'm doing this, there was a lot of interest in making the bike lighter, but in the UK in particular, Nobody really wants to have a loud exhaust because the trails that are still legal and open are shared with walkers, dog walkers, cyclists and horses. Trying to make as little noise as possible is kind of a useful thing to do. I do get the whole loud exhaust thing, I really do, but I think there's a time and a place and when there's constant battles trying to keep the trails open, we want to be as quiet as possible. Nevertheless, it is a budget exhaust. The build quality seems to be pretty good. So far it's performed just fine. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna do the same tests that I did on the stock exhaust. So this is gonna be, first of all, just measuring the sound at idle once the engine is warmed up. I'm then going to do the ACU static RPM test, which is where I bring the, the revs up to four and a half thousand revs and measure the volume of one meter back, one meter to the side, so 45 degrees at the same level as the end of the exhaust. And then the last test I'm gonna do is the two meter max test, which is an FIM test also used by the ACU. So that's where I go two meters back, two meters to the side, 1.35 meters off the ground, and I actually go full throttle for one second and measure the peak volume. So hopefully all that makes sense. If you've seen my other video on the stock exhaust, you'll know exactly what this is. So the magic numbers we're looking for is that for the stock exhaust, the average for the idle test was 72.6 decibels. The average for the static RPM test, so four and a half thousand RPM, was 83.4 decibels. And the two meter max test uh, was 96.2 decibels. Now what I'm not gonna do is the acceleration tests again. Um, they weren't consistent enough when I did it with the stock exhaust. Uh, and some of that is just my ability to pick the same start and end time. Um, only using the, 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 the frames on the video to try and work out uh, when I've reached a particular point. So I think for that, it's really gonna have to go on a dyno. I don't have one, so I'm probably not gonna be doing that. I'm sure someone will dyno one of these bikes eventually, both with this exhaust and also with a stock exhaust. So I look forward to that. Uh, but until then, all I'm gonna do today is measure the, measure the volume. Now, a few people have asked me if I could also do this same test with the baffle out. After some consideration, what I think it might be useful for is to show just how loud it is uh, with the baffle out. Uh, in case people think that they might just about get away with it, at least if you know how loud it is, you can probably make a more informed decision. And then I think that's everything. I'll go and get measured up and then I'll go and do the first test. Okay, that's good enough for my one meter down. Yeah, that's pretty much about right. Uh, the last measurement I need to do is to get the height of that the same as the height as the end of the exhaust, which is 95 centimeters. Good, so that's all set up. I'm now just gonna go and start the bike and get it warmed up. So I'm now just gonna do the, the idle test. And the problem with this is that even touching the buttons or speaking like this gives a louder reading than the exhaust itself. So I'm not gonna speak, but all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take three readings. I'm then gonna say what the, what the number was where it settled at, and then gonna reset it without saying anything and do it again twice more. So this is the first run. Okay, so the first measurement is 69 decibels. I'm now gonna reset it and do it again. Okay, so again, that's 69.2 decibels. So I'm just gonna reset it a third time and run the test for the last time. This higher reading is me actually just talking. And that stayed at 69.1. So that's pretty consistent. So that's it, I'm gonna reset it and now I'm gonna do the static RPM test three times and each time I'm gonna go up to four and a half thousand revs and then note what the max figure was. So here we go. Yeah, that's nearly 4,000. Four and a half thousand RPM. So that measured 81 decibels for the first one. Just gonna reset. It's 4,000 RPM. That's 81.1. Now the third time. That's four and a half thousand RPM. And that time it got to 80.4. So 
So that's all pretty consistent around the 81 mark. So yes, that was kind of a surprise. It looks like this Moto X exhaust with the baffle in is actually quieter than stock, both at idle and also at static RPM test. I'm gonna do the two meter max test now uh, with just the higher revs to see if that goes any louder. Who knows, maybe even with the baffle out, it is gonna be quieter than the stock exhaust, but let's see. So I'm now going to do the two meter max test and this means putting the noise meter further away from the bike. So it's two meters back, two meters to the side, still at 45 degrees, one meter 35 off the ground instead of at the height of the exhaust. So yeah, interested to see if this is also quieter than stock. Now this one is measured slightly differently. This one actually goes two meters back from where the wheel touches the ground, not from the end of the exhaust. Right then, that's all set. So I'm now going to do the two meter max test. So this is where I'm going to open the throttle full for no more than one second and just see what the measurement is. So here we go. This is the first two meter max test. And here we go. So that did get up to 10 and a half. That did get up to 10 and a half thousand RPM. 97.9 decibels. This is the second two meter max test. We go 97.5 for the second test. I'm just going to do it for a third and final time. And here we go, the third test. third test 97.8 decibels so it does seem that at the top end it is actually slightly louder it's 97 decibels I think ish versus 96 for the stock uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the baffle out and then I'm going to rerun those same tests again uh, and just to see what it's like without the baffle in then I'll go away when I put the edit together I'll actually put all the numbers up side by side on a slide at the end so if you just want to get one screenshot for the comparison then you can here we go so to remove the baffle from the end there is just this one bolt that's holding it in there. So I think if I remove that, I should be able to pull it out. One thing I have noticed is that now that this is warm and it's quite hot, so maybe I won't be able to pull it out, is there is actually a mark in the end can there on the carbon fiber. Uh, it's a very small hole, which you might not be able to see there, but that's the first, first thing on the build quality that I've noticed that hasn't been quite right. But still, let me take this bolt out, see what it's like without the baffle in. So this is an eight millimeter spanner. I did see if I could get a socket on it and my socket, so socket set is just slightly too big. So I'm just gonna, Try and make a, as small of a pig's ear of this as possible. That is quite hot. Maybe I should leave this to cool down for a while longer, but let's see. Yeah, I definitely recommend doing this when the exhaust has cooled all the way. What I need to be careful of when I take this out is that I don't lose that little uh, lock washer. Um, and also that I don't drop it on the gravel and that I don't drop it down inside the the muffler. Okay, so that's that that's come out. Try some pliers on that. It does seem to be just snagging just on the edge here, which is also where it was slightly damaged on the other side. So let's see if I can get that out without damaging it anymore. Okay, so that's it. That is everything that goes in the end. I don't know if you can see that okay. Uh, someone did ask me about the dimensions of this, so uh, once that's cool enough to touch, I shall measure that with a caliper and let you know exactly how big it is. Uh, for now, I'm just going to put it down. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it's like the, the plastic on the inside of there, on the carbon fibre, um, does actually have a couple of marks on it. Now, I don't know if that's from when this was put in in the first place, um, but it is a little bit disappointing. Uh, but yeah, we shall see. So for these tests, I'm actually going to do them in reverse order, just because it's already set up for the two metre max test. So we're going to do that one first. Now, the first thing I noticed with that is there's definitely a much louder thrum. So here we go, this is for the two meter max test with no baffle in. Okay, that's 
98.4. It's the first reading at 10,500 revs. Here we go for test number two. Test number two was 99.5 decibels. That's 99.5 decibels. So here we go with test number three. And that one actually went a little bit too high, uh, but now, nevertheless, we have a reading of 99.2 decibels. So it's still not terrible actually, and it does sound kind of cool. Right then, I'm gonna move the sound meter back So what I'm now going to do is, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's, it's kind of like a richer sound that's coming out of the exhaust. I'm now going to run the static tests uh, at the one metre distance, so here we go. So this is the first idle test. And that's 72.1. I'm going to run the second idle test. That's 72.5. The third one is 71.8. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to do the 4,500 rev static RPM test. Again, exactly the same setup as before. One meter back, one meter to the side, same height as the end of the exhaust. Uh, this time without the baffle in. So here we go. This is for the first test. First result is 81.1. We go for the second one, four and a half thousand RPM. And that one got to 81.5. And for the third and final test, We have 81.5, again. So then, so before I give you the final numbers and the result, which might be a surprise to some of you, uh, I just want to give you, uh, just get, let you have a closer look at this and actually give you the measurements. So this is the baffle, the removable baffle that comes out of the end of the exhaust. Now I understand in the US you have a requirement to have uh, a spark arrester and someone had asked me uh, about the dimensions of this and whether uh, I could measure it for them so they could see whether they could put, I think it looks a bit like a metal sock sort of arrester that goes in the end. So this is, this actually literally goes into the end of the exhaust, it goes in that way up. If you look in there you can see there's the little, the little hole uh, where the bolt goes through. So just to give you a quick measurement, across the end external diameter is, that's 42 millimetres across there, so there to there is 42 millimetres. Uh, what else might be useful? Uh, so maybe the, the thickness of this inside bit. So that in itself is 34 millimetres. So that distance there, 34 millimetres. If we want to measure the length, if that matters, but I think it could certainly go longer. Um, that is, well, it's not exactly end to the end. At the longest point, if I measure it along the top, hopefully you can see that. I know the measurements are on my side, but I have to be able to read it. Uh, so that is 106 millimetres. So 106 millimetres for across the top from there to there. Okay, hopefully that's useful for those of you who are looking at spark arresters uh, for using this uh, in the US. So then, so the results are in. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to give you the numbers uh, that I'd got for the stock exhaust, which was idle test 72.6. Then with the baffle in the end of here, the average was 69.1, so the Moto X is quieter at idle. With the baffle out, it's 72 decibels, so it's still quieter with the baffle out than the stock exhaust, and that's a real surprise. If anything, I thought it would be slightly louder. Uh, the next test I did was the static test, which is one meter back, one meter to the side, same height as the end of the exhaust, uh, and then run the bike at four and a half thousand RPM. So the stock exhaust, 83.4 decibels. With the baffle in, this one is 
So that is two and a half decibels quieter. And with the baffle out, 81.3, so two decibels quieter. So if you're gonna be riding this bike around sort of the mid range, so you're not gonna be revving, revving it all the way to the top end, um, it is actually quieter to have the Moto X exhaust with the baffle out than it is to have the stock exhaust. That was also a surprise. The third number was the full throttle, the 10 and a half thousand RPM. So the stock exhaust, 96.2 decibels. Uh, with the baffle in, 97.7, so it is louder. And with the baffle out, 99 decibels. So that is definitely louder. Now, if you remember, if you read the description from either one, it is a logarithmic scale. So 96.2 to 99 isn't just a little bit louder. You know, 10 decibels doubles the loudness. So 96.2 to 99 decibels is quite a lot. Nevertheless, uh, to give you an example of how loud 99 decibels is, the limit for ACU events, for trials events in the UK is 100 decibels. For enduro events, it's 112. So half the limit of an enduro bike would be 102, and this is three decibels below that. So that is still a fair bit quieter. It's not quiet, but it is quieter. Now, for those of you who don't know how loud an enduro bike is or how loud a trials bike is, um, those numbers don't really mean a great deal. So to try and give a bit more context, the loudest this pipe will go with the baffle out is 99 decibels. So for example, a subway train arriving is about 100 decibels. So a subway train arriving is louder and a car horn at five meters is louder than this is at 10 and a half thousand RPM. That said, most people probably won't be riding it flat out all the time, at least not if you want your engine to last for any, any period of time. And at the lower end, so 83.4 is what the stock pipe was. This is 80.8 with the baffle in and a mere 81.3 uh, with the baffle out. So a lawnmower is between 80 and 85 decibels. So a petrol lawnmower. So really, it really isn't that loud at all. Um, I actually quite like the sound of it with the baffle out. So I might even try it like this for a while, uh, just to see. Like I say, the only slightly disappointing thing, and I'll put some pictures up uh, as well, is that just in the end here, I can see that the, the carbon fiber is, is cheap, right? I mean, it's a cheap exhaust, and there are a couple of um, gaps in it uh, when I took the baffle out. Having said that, it's purely cosmetic. It doesn't actually make any difference to the operation. So yeah, I think I'm gonna try it with the baffle out for a while, uh, see what it's like. Uh, if I'm finding that I'm getting noise fatigue when I'm out riding, then I'll put it back in. But from the numbers that I've seen so far for day-to-day -day riding, it will actually be quieter to ride this with the baffle out than it would be to ride the stock exhaust. So the only circumstances where this is going to be louder than the stock exhaust with the baffle out is if you are revving it all the way to 10 and a half thousand RPM. So if you do that a lot, if you're using this bike for racing, that would be kind of a surprise, but you never know, um, then yeah, that would make a difference. So as for the sound, I actually quite like the sound with the baffle out. If it had been offensively loud, then, you know, just because you like the sound doesn't really make much of a difference. But I think when you're riding, uh, how a bike sounds affects your uh, emotional response to what you're doing. I mean, obviously it's the fun of doing it, it's the danger, it's the thrill, it's what you're seeing when you're doing it. It's being out and riding with friends, but you know, the sound of a bike does help with that as well. And I do quite like this. So I'm gonna leave it as it is. Uh, I'm gonna post up in the description exactly all the sound readings that I took. If you've got any questions about how I've done the measurements or, or anything else about the exhaust, please ask me in the comments. But yeah, so far, Moto X exhaust, really impressed. It's three and a half kilos lighter. It is quieter under most circumstances and even when it's at its loudest with the baffle out it's still not that loud. The one thing I haven't done is taken out the um, the other piece. There is another internal baffle at the other end uh, but I've just left that in because I think that how it sounds as it is at the moment um, is probably more than loud enough for anyone. Um, it's still fairly quiet, it's still quite a nice sound. Uh, if there's a, a lot of interest in taking out the one at the other end then I can do that but honestly um, if you got one of these run it with the baffle in or just take the one out at the end and I think you'll be just fine. Anyway, I hope this has been interesting and useful. Uh, if it has, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.